The show is called Rusty Camel, and uh, Daniel O'Reilly, or Danny as he's called, is one of the stars of this not-so-PC uh, idea. <laughs> How you doing, Danny? Good. How you doing out there? Hanging in there. How's the, how's the, 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 the whole you know, isolation quarantine thing going for you? Uh, it's, it's been good because I've reconnected to my family out in the Midwest, you know, living out in the craziness of L.A., and uh, it just got worse as things progressed with the, the COVID out there. So I'm back home, hanging with the family, staying safe, and just keeping a, keeping a close eye on things in L.A. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. You know, we're blessed if we're, we're, we're safe and everybody's well in the family. That's a good thing. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about uh, Rusty Camel. How did, <laughs> where did this come <laughs> Uh, look, I watched, I, I watched the trailer. I watched a couple of the episodes. Let me tell you, uh, it's not for everybody. It's not no. for you. If you're, if you're a sensitive guy, forget it. I, yeah, I agree. I, I don't even know what else to say because I just want people to watch it. Uh, but, yeah, it's funny. Funny. That's for sure. It's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of good laughs, a lot of fantastically talented people. And the funny thing about the, the title of the show, uh, the creators were – unaware of like this urban legend or like what urban dictionary term uh -huh. rusty camel i don't want to go into it we'll let everyone deal with google with that but <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun we're adding to the title and the show and everything involved you know it's sort of uh, i kind of equate it to the office completely uncensored the office yeah yeah very much modeled the stylized the way it's, the way it's shot it's set up kind of looks and sounds and a lot of the characters too in the hierarchy of who's what in, in, on, the, on the cast and whatnot now, how is it that a nice guy like you gets cast as the a-hole in the series? <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes art imitates life. I don't know if that's the <laughs> case here. <laughs> you, uh, I, you know, it's written that way. Um, and I tried to be a little more funny or try certain things. And I was specifically instructed, like, stop trying to be likable. This guy is not likable. Maybe down the road. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's, he's clueless as to how much of a, of a jerk he is, which is kind of funny in itself. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always find it interesting where actors find their, their inspiration for a character. And, you know, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in, your, uh, in your life, you either knew somebody like that or you were that person at some point. Yeah, you know, I agree. I mean, I'm, uh, I mean he, I've known Brandon for some years now, and he knows I'm kind of a, a smart aleck, uh, quick-witted, uh, like that. And uh, I'm, I'm not afraid to say certain things. Um, and he, and he, <laughs> I'm keeping it as PC as I can right now, uh, but very much like uh, Scooter Man. So I'm just uh -huh. like, okay, it's all in the writing, so I don't really need to try too hard here. So tell me a little bit about your mission as an actor. Uh, how long have you been doing this, and what's been sort of your your ups and downs? I mean, I know this is a tough business to be, to, to break into. Yeah, it, it really is. Like I started quote unquote late. You know, I've, I've heard of plenty of successful late starts, but I got in and you know around 35. And I really kind of tried to figure out what LA was all about for a good five years. I just I worked in bar, managing bars and bartending. And, and I'm like, wait, what am I doing out here? So I finally dedicated myself into separating from the bar and into the art and taking the classes and, and creating a lot more serious, getting representation, good representation at that. And I'm starting to see the light of day. And, and, and teaming up with people like Brandon and BTV and whatnot is kind of a dream come true as far as the content creation world goes. Well, I, I think, you know, the hardest thing to do, and I've heard this from other actors and even comedic actors, the hardest thing to do uh, in, in this medium is comedy. Uh, and because you, you hope that the writing carries the moment and you don't get an immediate response because you work with other actors. It's not like a stand-up where you stand there and you die on stage or you get huge cheers for your joke. So that's got to be a bit of a, a stressor for you as you're trying to develop your, you know, your, your acting chops. Like, yeah, I've, I've always loved comedy. A lot of people said, you're, you're going to make it comedy. That, that's where your, where your splash is going to come from. And, you know, I love, I'm kind of 50-50 drama and comedy. But I've, like I said, I've always tried to be a funny guy. I've been sent to the corner of class to stare at the corner my whole life, like grammar school, grade school, always getting in trouble. Um, always, always looking for a laugh. And it's all come full circle, I guess, now into Rusty Camel and that, and that idea. So, you know, the thing about this, this new way of doing things, look, we're doing this, uh, an interview on Zoom instead of having you in the studio, which is kind of a new thing. But the, 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 the ability to democratize creative projects, to be able to shoot an, uh, an episode on a phone or, or on some sort of device that isn't necessarily a big studio camera, what's that been like for you? Um, well, yeah, like definitely adapting to that. Like there really is no excuse to not have material these days. If you have a phone, you can make a movie. 
Um, and, you know, if, if you had the right post-production team, it could be a good movie. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, the new iPhone 11 and now the 12 coming out, they're shooting in 4K and they're just like, you can shoot some really beautiful stuff, but you can create anything. And now with the, the, all the software available and, and the apps and whatnot, you can create, if you come up with an idea and you have a phone, and then you throw it into Premiere or iMovie, you've got yourself a nice little short, a music video, whatever, you just, you, and you, you should always be creating because it is more competitive than ever because of that. So tell me, what's, what, what are you looking toward? What's, I mean, what's, a, what's a, the goal for you eventually? When you, let's say you, uh, you get that role, you get an Academy Award, what would that be like? Um, a, a dream come true. Uh, like the Oscar is always like, because I grew up like uh, Christian Bale, Daniel Day, those are like my inspirations dramatically, but I love Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, and, and those people. I, I try to, I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle or like a combination. Uh, that's extreme names and success stories and whatnot, but it's just people that I model a lot of my, a lot of my, my, my stuff after. Um, yeah, but, but I have the dream to, you know, to reach the top, whatever you want to do, go 10 times greater is something like what, uh, you know, Jason Bateman's doing. Yeah. And uh, Ben Affleck, uh, minus controversy. <laughs> that some of those yeah, yeah, yeah. run into, but like I want to create and act and stuff. I want to write stuff and sit back and watch watch it get made. You know, I, I want I want all of it. And well, I'll you know, tell you what, if your role your role in Rusty Camel is a is, is a great step forward. It's terrific, uh, terrifically done. It's clean. It's beautiful. It's well done, and it's funny as heck. And and people should watch it. Where can we watch uh, your your uh, Rusty Camel episodes? Every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Brandon TV, BTV. Their first originally scripted show, Andrew Young and uh, Brandon Stewart. Fantastic. Now, how can people get in touch with you on social media? Uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I don't have Twitter. I'm just I'm learning all about the tweets and stuff like that. I'm, uh, is it just Dan Daniel O'Reilly or is it Danny O'Reilly? Well, actually, since I did this uh, Aladdin knockoff, and I play the Jafar character. <laughs> on Twitter, I am White Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. You need to remember, White Jafar works for me. Yeah, you see me in the picture with the guy who played the genie, like, that's, that's him. <laughs> uh, Instagram is Daniel O'Reilly Actor, and Facebook is uh, Daniel O'Reilly. And I'm always you know, commenting and engaging with everybody. I, I think it's very fun. Well, Danny, thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Enjoy yourself. Uh, continued success to you, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Hopefully sir. Likewise. And be safe. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye.